All right, well, it's another week and another beautiful Saturday morning. Oh, another beautiful Saturday morning here in Minnesota. And uh, yeah, so during the week, I did manage to uh, get the rest of those holes drilled and we got the rest of this put down. So this has been sitting here now for, for like a week. So it's got a floor. I've walked on it. It's strong. Yay. All right, next step. Uh, and the next step is to um, there's actually a couple more boards that we got to replace, and those are the 4x4s. And maybe I should have done this last week, but there's 4x4s that are supposed to sit at the base here, uh, across the bottom on both sides, and um, I think we got rid of both of those, yes, because um, that's a piece of one of them. That's a piece of one of them that has this kind of rope ladder thingy that goes through it. And so you can kind of see the, the condition that was in. So we've got new ones, uh, and we've stained them. Uh, they were one of the, the pieces you saw stained. But I've still got to drill holes because there's actually a, a place in the back of this for a, for a screw. Um, so it actually screws in the back. And then uh, a couple of the new pieces that we made, actually the, uh, the mitered notched pieces that we made, uh, fill in for a couple of the little support beams that go over here. I think they're actually the ones on the other side But uh, yeah So let's get to that right, And much like last week the first thing I'm doing is taking some of the old parts that we know uh, That they have to be here um, so the support sides that are going to fit into the new parts and uh, Fit them in where they belong because they're they're currently disassembled. It's really easy already got the old bolt in there on this side, and we've got the other one too. And so once we have that in, then we can line up this beam with where the holes are and put new holes in this beam and bolt it in place. Uh, pretty easy for this side. The other side's a little trickier just because we've got the, the new pieces, so we're going to do the board a little bit different. There we go. Alright, so... That beam there. Tighten it just a little bit. Get this thing forward and there we go. And that's in there. Probably gonna tighten that a little more, but we'll leave it with a little wiggle room for now. Actually, that's the wrong end. We don't want that end in there. We want the other end in there. And I know, because this end's all beat up, so that end's supposed to be in the dirt. So, this is the end that's supposed to line up with that area. So we'll just this in here. Oh yeah, that looks much better. <laughs> that's probably not good for the motor. Okay, so that's in. So let's do the rest of these. So yeah, definitely wishing that I had put these uh, 4x4s on before I uh, put all this ladder stuff together because I had to lift this whole unit and then while lifting it, kick that under there. And so now it's propped up. It's actually a little too far to the right. I gotta kick it to the left because we want to be able to put this new the rope ladder eventually through that that four x four. I'm actually a little disappointed with that four x four. It's got these cracks running through it now. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there you go. So don't know what's up with that. But then again, this piece is only really for stability. Um, and once the uh, swing ladder is installed which is going to go out from here, uh, there's not really any chance it's going to tip over because um, that thing's really heavy and it's, it's really far out, so it'll be super stable. So, yeah, not a particularly important piece, but we're still going to put it in because that's the way it was designed. There's a reason for it. I think I might have woken up my neighbors. Smacked it over to the left with a sledge axe over there. But it was really loud. Sorry, neighbors. Now I've decided that, now that I've got this thing in here, I'm just going to drill the holes as they lie. Um, with the other side, I'm probably going to drill the holes in the back side of the big beam first, 
or here and here because honestly this hole doesn't really matter the old hole um, it'll just you know put the bolt in the new hole uh, it'll be all good but we're gonna use the old holes for these pieces All right, now that's stuck on there. So now we got our one pivot point, we can line everything else up to that. So here's the tricky one, because uh, I don't think I could install this quite the same way that it originally was, which was straight from this board into this board. Good angle. So what I gotta do is get below the line here, get below where the side is, and do the best I can, which is... which is to put it at a little bit of an angle. All right, so now having learned from my stakes, for the other side, I'm actually gonna drill <laughs> countersink hole first, and then I'm gonna drill it straight into the side, just line it up, and then, uh, yeah, then we'll drill all the other holes that we need, and uh, bolt this thing up. I think I'm gonna need some new bolts, uh, just because I don't think well, I guess if I counter sink it deep enough, it'll be fine. So, sink a little deep enough. Should be good. Alright, now this little hole is going to go all the way through. Smaller bit. This is the pilot hole for the. Alright, now I'm just going to figure out how to get that pilot hole in the, in the ladder piece and we'll be good. Okay, I've decided to think a little bit dangerously because that piece right there. It's designed to the specs of the old one that went right there. And even though this piece right here is missing a little bit off the bottom, um, if the 4x4 fits squarely into that piece and its counterpart of that piece over there, as attached to the latter piece, which has a connection there and there, uh, then the 4x4 holes should, is a big assumption, line up with the holes in the old piece, or at least be really close. So we're actually not going to drill any more pilot holes for that, because I can't really get to them anyway, and we're just going to do like we did on the other side and install the, the diagonal supports. I figured out how to cheat. You put a block under the ladder piece, and then you can line this up no problem, and you can line the 4x4 up with pretty much no problem. Just make sure it doesn't fall off. Alright, well I've got the two diagonal pieces on. And both sides are up on blocks, but I discovered an issue. And that is that this area is so rotted away, there's no way we're going to be able to get a uh, the new beam attached to that. The bottom is completely gone from the old one. So, oh well, I guess it'll just be resting on the two diagonal support braces. And we'll have to live with that. Never mind. I propped everything up, and uh, with everything in place, it looks like... This thing is going to line up with some wood, uh, hopefully, and so we're going to go ahead and install this new bolt, and uh, yeah, secure this bottom beam to the, the ladders as well as the side supports. Yay! Alright, so I pulled the blocks out, except for this one I had on the end, and uh, I did get the two lag bolts in there. I don't know how strong they are, I don't know, they're kind of in rotted wood, but they're as secure as they're going to be. Uh, so we're going to pull that out, but interestingly, yeah, there's a gap under there, and it's just sitting on that side and on that. If I pull that out, it's going to move a little bit. All right, that's 
stable. Right, so let's get on to uh, building up the superstructure of the uh, of the platform. Yeah, superstructure of the platform. Stuff that sits on top of there. Woo. Well, I think that's enough for today. I gotta clean up and make breakfast for everybody, but here's what we did. We got the most of the tower uh, up there, the steering wheel, the slides installed. We got these uh, base stabilizers down with their supports. Uh, these are all bolted down, and uh, yeah, the slides up, and then there's that top piece that's up there. And um, as far as things still left to go, we've got this piece which goes across from here to here and then hangs out over here with like rings or something. Uh, there's another piece on the other side which has got the rope ladder. And then the last two pieces are that top ladder there which comes out from here. The swings hang down from there. And that connects to this piece which comes up at an angle. And then we've got the tire swing which hangs from the middle of the, the base over here. So, all in all, a pretty productive day. Um, thank you for watching so much. I uh, hope this inspires you and shows you that, yes, even if one of these things is not in the best of shape, uh, it can still be rebuilt. And, um, yeah, and it's not, not too, too hard. It does, does take some time commitment, but, uh, but it can be done. So uh, please like and subscribe if you like what we're doing and want to support and um, help me get to that 1,000 subscribers that I need. Uh, and, uh, yeah, yeah, have a wonderful week, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.